Hi everyone, today is Saturday, September 21st, and we're still in the peak of the hurricane season and things continue to, I guess, boil up in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. We've been watching this one system in the Caribbean Sea, and now we're looking at additional potential flare-ups in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Perhaps by the next two weeks, we could have up to five named storms. Yeah, let's talk about that. All right, let's first of all take a look at the National Hurricane Center Tropical Weather Outlook. And as you can see, they're getting a little bit on the busy side over here in the uh, southeastern uh, Pacific Ocean, over here in the, uh, the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, and then into the central tropical Atlantic Ocean. This area here is a, has about a 40% probability of formation. We'll keep an eye on that. And this area now has a 60% probability of formation over the next five to seven days. Looking at the satellite imagery uh, this afternoon into the early evening hours, there is that system in the Caribbean Sea. It's just been sitting out there over the last several days stewing waiting for uh, it to get better organized and then to get picked up and pushed off to the north. And that's probably going to happen midweek uh, in, into the next week. And then farther off to the east, we're seeing a large tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa right now, moving into the tropical Atlantic Ocean. We're definitely going to have to keep an eye on that system there. All right, let's take a look at the computer models. First of all, the uh, uh, global forecast system, the American model, has that system as it has over the last several days, stewing in the Caribbean Sea, then breaking loose, and then moving northward. Here we are on the uh, sunset on actually at 2 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, September 26th, uh, and then moving northward and moving into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico as a tro strong tropical storm, even a uh, a low-grade hurricane uh, with uh, very heavy rains associated with it, and then it continues to move it to the north northeast, right over western Alabama, uh, western Georgia, eastern Alabama, with a large portion of this storm uh, over in central and eastern Georgia and South Carolina, what we call the dirty side of the storm. That's where you have the heavy rains and the uh, uh, severe weather conditions as uh, strong damaging winds and tornadoes associated with the storm on the dirty side. And that's where we'll be with the forecast on this. And then looking at the, um, the uh, Canadian model, and that has basically the same thing. We're watching that, we can see how the system stews in the Caribbean Sea, then moves a little bit further westward than the GFS, but not much. It brings it into western Alabama, eastern Mississippi, a little bit further west of Georgia at this time and moves it northward and then uh, washes it out. It keeps it moving. So no, it's not like a Debbie where it dumps heavy rains with a slow moving storm. All right, let's take a look at the icon model and um, let's bring it to the day's morning run. The afternoon run's just starting to come in as incomplete. Looking at the system there, basically it's been doing the same thing all week long, pushing it westward into the western Gulf of Mexico and then moving it northward toward the eastern portion of the lower Mississippi River Valley into Alabama and Mississippi and then moves it west of us. And then one last and but not least, the ECMWF, the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast, that just came in. Uh, the ink is still wet on this picture, if you want to say that. And again, it shows it's stewing in the Caribbean Sea. This is now uh, Wednesday, actually Tuesday sunset going into Wednesday. And then Thursday uh, has it just to the north of the Yucatan Peninsula. Early Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, moves it northward. And it looks like it's following closer to the GFS model, uh, has it over in Alabama and western portions of Georgia with heavy rains. Again, puts us on the dirty side of the storm and then moves it off to the north. So still a lot of the variations in the model. It's uh, models, it's just too far in advance to say what's going to happen. Even you know when a storm hasn't developed, the models really don't do a very good job in forecasting, as you can see. The models have it all over the place. But with that being said, let's take a look at the GFS again uh, on a, uh, the North Atlantic mode, the entire tropical Atlantic mode. And looking at the forecast, we can see uh, that system over here that we've been watching. Now we're watching those waves coming off the coast of Africa and the other wave that's the remnants of Gordon make uh, again flare up. And we're beginning to see additional storms developing. Look at this, we're seeing more and more storms uh, coming out of the uh, tropical Atlantic Ocean. And another one brewing in the Caribbean Sea right over here. Uh, this is for Saturday, October the 5th. 
So we're talking two weeks from today, and uh, then that brings it as another major hurricane. But that's you know, this is not 300. Uh, 60 hours or 384 hours away. So really, you know, yeah, I got to take it with a grain of salt. But what it is showing that activity will continue to brew in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Meanwhile, you can catch all my weather information on my uh, Pat's Weather and Nature Facebook page right there. And a lot of great information. You can also leave your comments there. And also on my website, savannahpat.name. Uh, that's my uh, Weather and Nature site and uh, there you can see the additional information. Yeah, you know, next several days, it's going to be nice. It was hot today, 88 degrees, I think, 89 in Savannah. And uh, it's going to be right up there again tomorrow. And um, on Monday uh, and Tuesday, are going to be in the upper 80s for the next several days, even though autumn does begin tomorrow morning. Let's talk about that. Let's go back outside. Today is September 21st. Tomorrow is September 22nd, and that's the beginning of autumn. At 1044 tomorrow morning, Eastern Daylight Time, the apparent position of the sun will cross the equator, heading southward toward the Tropic of Capricorn. So that marks the beginning of autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere and spring in the Southern Hemisphere. But it doesn't mean anything near the end of the tropical season. Matter of fact, the hurricane season uh, goes on all the way through the month of November. And yeah, I've seen storms here in Savannah, 1986, for example. We had a Hurricane Kate that uh, came in from the Caribbean Sea right around Apalachicola, Florida, and moved right over southeastern Georgia into southern South Carolina with 65 mile per hour sustained winds in the greater Savannah area. That was November 21st, 1986. So, yeah. It goes through the month of November, so we still have a good while uh, to keep an eye on the tropics. And uh, also, we've been getting some clear skies lately, and over there, just beyond my uh, shoulder, uh, is one of my telescopes, and I opened it up last night just to see what it looked like, because I haven't been outside at night because of all the clouds and rain that we've been having. Here's a picture of the Andromeda galaxy that I captured last night uh, with the telescope. And this is our closest galactic neighbor. It's about uh, it's in the ballpark of two and a half million light years away. What does that mean? Well, that's the distance light would travel uh, in two and a half million years. And light travels at 186,280 miles per second. That's a long time. Uh, that's a, a very long uh, time ago. Anyway, that's what the galaxy looked like uh, two and a half million years ago. Anyway, it contains about a billion stars. No. The Milky Way contains about 250 billion stars. The Andromeda Galaxy contains about a trillion stars. That's just mind boggling. And that's just one galaxy. There's billions of galaxies up there, up in the sky. That's a different uh, channel. That's my uh, astronomy channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted on this system. You know, it could uh, get pretty wild here by the end of the, uh, the week coming up, uh, a week from today, or actually a week from Thursday and Friday. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, for you. And what goes on beyond that, we could have additional storms developing in the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Things are beginning to get active. Well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.